Hi guys, today I'm here to show you that we're going to try and recreate one of the Pinterest um, little pins here. I'm very interested in recreating these um, little wine glass lampshades. I don't know if you could see that well. So, um, I actually pinned it on my board. It's also so crafty one. If you want to go into my crafting or ba this is um, bridal shower. So this is one of the designs that I'm looking forward to making for you today. This one. And I will be creating these as well in a different video. These are all for bridal showers. So I do absolutely love Pinterest. Now, if you want patterns, you can find them on my Pinterest, So Crafty One. There are printables here that you'll see. And um, this one here. I don't know if you could actually see it, but in any case, go to my Pinterest, So Crafty, and this is under showers or crafting. But there's a lot of things that I put on here. Okay, so what we're going to need for this project is some wine glass. I have different shapes here. Okay. Now, you're going to be needing some vellum paper, which I've already cut mine out. Now, with vellum paper, you can buy it in sheets at your craft store that are already printed out or you can cut out a piece of vellum or buy a vellum sheet and put it through your printer and have any design you like on it, be it animal prints, whatever, but it's beautiful, especially with the vellum or if you don't want to use vellum, you could use this paper as well. So to get this design, um, since we all have different size wine glasses, um, what I did was, in finding different ways of doing it, I took a paper cup and I put it over my glass to see what that's like. So basically, I took a piece of vellum. Let me show you. These are all scrappy vellums that I had. So I took the paper and I wrapped it around just so that I can get the idea of the shape. So you'll see that. Gives me that shape. And I can place it on my glass like so. So that gave me the principal idea. So if you don't want to do it that way, you can simply take a piece of paper, start wrapping it around your, your glass like this, Just checking. So this one does, let me see. If I do it this way, it's not enough here. Okay, so let me try the little one. If This is just print paper, but you can use tissue paper if you need a bigger piece of paper, whatever you like. Or you can just simply go around like this and just Trace it, cut it out, and create your new template. So, in doing that, where's my original? Here's my original. So I took the original, and I put it on a piece of paper. I started here at the bottom corner. I put my straight line here like that. Then I came with my pencil I'm being a little sloppy because I want to get this show you how I basically got my pattern like that. Now you'll see that's there Trying to see which is the best way you can see it. I 
hope that you can see that lines there. So now what I did was, because this is too short for my, my glass, so what I did was I continued putting my pattern and sliding it over. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing it to the end of the paper. And I did the same here on the bottom. And I continued off to the end. Now this is not a straight edge, so what I did was, um, I'll show you. I wasn't going to go through all of this detail because you can actually go online and print these out, but for those who don't have the benefit of a printer and you want to create your, your own from scratch, Being a little sloppy, I would be neater if I was creating an actual one. Okay, now I did that part. Now I come over here and I match up this bottom corner to this top corner, making sure that my lines are even here and here. And then I use my straight edge, I know it's straight, to cut that excess off giving me the perfect shape. So now with this, I like it to come right across the edge here. Like so. And you'll notice that it gives me enough overlap where I can put my tape. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. At this point, you can use whatever medium you have for sticking your, your pieces together. This is a scrapbooking adhesive. It's, um, it's pretty easy. You just run the tape along the edge there. like so. Now keeping, I like to keep the top, as you can see, all flush. Then I'm going to come in, I'm going to attach it, and stick it together, and that's how you get your little shade. Like that. Now these shades, this is my scrap paper, my template. Um, these you can create them, design them any way you want. You can um, do like I did over here, which was I took the exact same pattern. I folded over my tape edge, the edge that I want to tape. I need that edge so I know that I have enough room for my tape or my glue, whatever medium you have. You could use double stick tape. This is from the window shrinking plastics, winterizing my windows. And I have this um, tape, double stick tape also that you get at the craft store. This is like a super duper sticky. And okay, so getting back to how I created my scallops. What I did was again, I fold it over my edge that I know I'm going to be using for taping. Then I took my end and I brought it over to the edge minus the tab that I created for the tape and I scored it. Then I took that and I opened it. So here's my center. This is my center here. Now I'm going to take this edge here 
and I'm going to bring it over to that center, giving me another half. And then I took that half and I folded it over. And I did the same with the other piece. So then that gives me one, two, three, four little scallops at the end. I did the same on the opposite side. Okay. Now on here, you can come back in and you can punch holes in them from larger to smaller. Or if you have a hole punch that is, let me come a little closer so you can see. So you can either do hole punches like that. Or if you want, you have a hole puncher. Or if you have an X-Acto knife, you can make little slits in it. And you can weave a ribbon through it. Or you can come along with some decorative flat beading and you can hot glue it to the edge making it really pretty or if you want you can use pearls or if you have fringe you can put fringe you can put beads you can put just about anything to decorate these so this is another idea now um, I'm going to come here oh and I forgot to mention to light these, you'll be needing little, little um, electric um, tea lights so you don't burn anything down. These little um, shades, shaded wine glasses, I like them particularly for, um, you can put some in your bathroom different sizes, different shapes. They're really inexpensive. You can get these glasses really inexpensive if you are at the dollar store. If you have broken wine glasses at home that are mixed and matched, you can just put different shades on them, different colors, different patterns, and just put a variety of them in a little corner or something. This is um, something that I got, I don't know how long ago. I've had it for a long time. It's like an ice cube but it's um, actually, it lights up and it has different patterns or it can be just steady. I thought that was cool. All right, so I'm gonna put this one for now in my glass and unfortunately, because it's so light right now so I can make this video you can't see it glowing let's see now let's see no but you can see the flickering in there going on this is gonna be very pretty at nighttime when you when it's done so let me get to the actual vellum one make that for you So here is my vellum. I already traced my paper pattern that I created before. This is this one. Mine is curling up because I actually have it on a huge roll. So I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to run it through the edge. I'm going to bring this together. Now I'm off by a little bit here, so I'm just going to trim that little corner right there. I will stick it on my cup, like so. I will stick my little and 
that's what it'll look like. Now remember, these um, lamps could be, again, decorated very, very pretty. Well guys, I hope that this has been helpful, informative, and it's given you an idea to what to do with your used um, leftover glasses or glasses that you want to use for a bridal party. You can personalize these if you're having a shower or wedding for your guest. Um, put it through the printer or if you have stamps, stamp something or just have um, their name of the bride and the groom and um, the date of their wedding. And that's it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to continue and show you another one in a minute. So uh, please share this video with your friends. You know, wedding um, season is coming upon us. Um, basically, just um, just share it with your friends. Like I was saying, I'm sorry, I just got lost my train of thought. Share it with your friends. Uh, like the video. Thumbs up. Uh, leave me questions and comments and again go to my Pinterest which is so crafty one the same as the title of my channel and you can find this patterns and these um, this information on my showers or if you want to see other stuff I have um, a board which is for um, crafting let's make it alright guys thank you for watching bye bye